The University of Washington is brimming with opportunities, but some are a little more ostentatious than others. Beneath Guggenheim Hall, the University of Washington houses a Lamborghini lab. Staffed by a talented team of students, engineers, and faculty, this lab has done work with carbon fiber to help make some of the sexiest cars on the road. Carbon fiber bodies on high-end sports cars are usually made by hand, but this team has applied Boeing technology to automate the construction process. The latest car to come out with a machine-made carbon fiber body is the Lamborghini Veneno, priced at $4.5 million. Many refer to the lab beneath Guggenheim as the Lambo Lab, but we want to peel the brand away and reveal to you the faces and voices behind this revolutionary technology. Well, working with Lamborghini is very exciting, uh, extremely fast-paced, extremely applied. So one of the most interesting things is to be able to see the, the fruits of our work onto a product right away. Uh, and through Lamborghini design, which is kind of like Porsche design, is also to, to see it applied to other products like Callaway Golf's uh, driver. Uh, working with uh, out of the University of Washington has been more challenging than we expected. Um, meaning that while we received a tremendous amount of support from the president and the higher levels of the institution and extreme you know, good support from the students and the, the community, unfortunately there are a lot of uh, mid-range jealousies you know, among faculty and, and, and deans and things like that because we have a high visibility program. Uh, that draws a lot of attention. Lots of it is positive, some unfortunately it's negative. And also because of what we do is so applied that it tends to fit difficultly within the traditional schemes of senior faculty, meaning we work extensively on products, both airplanes and cars, and our work is funded by the industry. So it has to be relevant to the industry within a couple of years. It can be something that is going to be relevant 20 years from now. So it's not what we call very basic research or fundamental research, but it tends to be applied research. And because of that, it, you know, it, it's, it's considered not to be as high quality by, in an academic institution. But that has posed significant challenges being here. This has been an unexpected opportunity for me. It was part luck that I even got here. I arrived at the same time this really this whole experience started. So, um, but it's been fantastic, amazing, and you know I pinch myself often because I can't believe that this is what I'm doing. So, you know, there's this trickle down of technologies, and I think there's a great, great potential for some of the things that we've been working on in this lab to be applied um, to, you know, uh, high-end cars but not supercars, and in the distant future be on every car. So I think there is that potential and I'd love to see that potential grow and it'd be really exciting to be a part of it because to see, you know, you don't get to see a Lamborghini driving around on the street every day, but when I do, I can think, oh, that, you know, that's the, the dorsal, I, I, I worked on that, that's cool. Uh, but to be able to see that on every Audi or Volkswagen, you know, that would be, that would be really special. I was a junior in high school and uh, so my teacher for chemistry knew I was interested in cars and she showed me this whole Lamborghini lab thing. I, I don't know how she came about it but she just told me about it and she was like, yeah, hey, you know, check this out. And originally I didn't, I didn't want to go to college and stay at all. I wanted to be in California out of Washington. Uh, but I started looking at the lab and somehow I just started working here <laughs> and uh, I've been here for most of the undergrads they have kind of stayed for a couple months and then they're done so they kind of figured I'd be doing the same thing and somehow I stuck around and uh, it was something you know I was really interested in too and so I stuck around and now as a freshman I that's pretty much what brought me to the UW actually was the lab so now I work you know I have my full-time classes and everything and then I come here whenever I can during the week at least hopefully at least like three or four times a week and come in and uh, work here whenever I can. So. Opportunities like the Lamborghini Lab are scattered all across campus. It's important to remember that there are faces behind the astounding research our university generates, and you could be one of them.